Hi there. Welcome to another adventure. So I'm out on a very, very easy walk, coming into one of my favorite spots in the Hanua Ranges. This is the Lower Mangatafari camping area. And I come here maybe two or three times a year. It's an easy walk along the access roads, and it's a lovely place to camp. It's a nice clearing here. I'm set up behind me like so. So I'm looking forward to just a quiet night. I'm going to cook up a very, very easy pasta and meatballs dish on the Trangia, and then I'm gonna have a nice night's sleep. It's just nice to get out, relax, and have a bit of a camp. Hope you join me. I've been here before if you've uh, seen any of my other videos you'll know that I've set up here before that's my tent behind me and uh, one of the reasons I come here is that there's a uh, table set up here she's pretty old and rickety now it's been here a long time and um, subject to wear and tear of course but, uh, but yes I've got a bit of a table to set up and it's a it's a nice spot so but first of all I'll just show you around my setup uh, so we're all zipped up because we've got uh, a myriad of sand flies and mosquitoes out at the moment but uh, here we go this is what uh, this is what we're looking like tonight so we've got a quilt we've got a thermarest mattress and we've got a uh, cedar summit pillow and um, that's us and I shall be very comfortable in here tonight so I think time's come to make a little dinner so what we're gonna make is a very simple pasta and meatballs thing so uh, we'll start by uh, unpacking the old faithful trangia. These things are just wonderful, aren't they? Probably won't need the kettle. We'll just put that down there. And uh, we will need both bowls. That. I've got the wind coming behind me so I'll just turn that around so that's facing the wind like it's meant to. What we're going to do is um, pasta and some meatballs. I did prepare some of these at home. These are just a really simple meatball meat recipe, nothing fancy at all. So we're just going to fry these off and uh, get these kind of half cooked I think. So we'll start off getting the beast lit. So it'll take a minute to bloom, I'm guessing. And while it's doing that, I hope I bought some oil. <laughs> yes, I did. I'd look pretty silly without the oil, wouldn't I? So there we go, we can hear that blooming. Yeah, that's starting to get hot. So we'll just put the pan on and uh, let that pan warm up. While it's doing that, we'll, uh, we'll do with the chopping board. There we go, the chopping board. Sort out our onion. So uh, probably, oh, I don't know. Maybe half this onion, I guess, something like that. The hint of oil in there, like so. So, there we go. Dump those meatballs in there. Hope for the best. Just a bit of a poke around. So, as per usual for me, I've probably overdone it. Now that I look at the quantities that I've got here, I probably could have gotten away with a few less meatballs. But that's alright. Not the prettiest looking meatballs you've ever seen, are they? They're, um... I think they got a bit flat. <laughs> they got a bit flat in the pack. They're more sort of, I don't know, meat squares rather than meatballs, but, uh... I think we'll be okay. Okay, so they're looking about half done, so... I think that's about right. We'll uh, 
We'll take them off for the time being. What we'll do is we'll, we'll put them in this bowl for the moment. I'll actually try and get them in the bowl rather than throwing them on the ground. What do you think? Yeah, I thought it was a good idea too, actually. Okay, so there's a, that's them just sitting in their bowl. Put the lid on that. And um, the onion that we uh, chopped earlier, just put that in there. Okay, so that's uh, probably way too much onion, but I'm on my own. What do I care if I've got way too much onion? We also need to grab a couple of uh, couple of cloves of garlic, I think, as well. So just fresh garlic like so. There we go, and we'll just give this a bit of a chop. Okay, so just a bit of chopped garlic. Chuck that in there as well. Oh man. It's starting to smell good, isn't it? Again, we don't need to get too carried away. Um, that's starting to smell, well, it's starting to smell superb actually. So what we'll do is we will um, tip these just tip that in there with those meatballs. Woohoo! That on there for a second. Lid back on. We might want to just uh, deglaze that plant pan just a little bit. Cheat's way of doing a uh, good sauce for the pasta. So uh, just some chopped tomatoes. Open those up. And we'll put uh, about that much in there. Don't have to get too technical about it. That looks about right. So get that as lovely burnt bits off the bottom of that pan because I want that flavor. So we will uh, tip that in there as well. Perfect. Chuck the simmering on. Get that fella in there. So we need to put some herbs in it. So what I've got here is uh, just Italian herbs. So thyme, oregano, basil, and plenty of salt and pepper, obviously. Got to have salt and pepper. Uh, so we'll tip that in as well. There we go, look at that. Pretty good, isn't it? Give it a, uh, just a gentle stir. That will simmer away to its heart's content. Oh man, can you smell that? Well, uh, just put the lid on there. Let that to do its thing, I think. I also want to put some uh, tomato paste. Just adds a bit more flavor. We'll just uh, chuck in a bit of tomato paste while we've got the chance. There we go. Just like so. So the idea now is for that to... Uh, just simmer away, probably for, I don't know, 20 minutes maybe, something like that. And um, hopefully, well not hopefully, it will reduce down and uh, those herbs will go through everything and fuse everything. Meatballs will absorb all the sauce and it will be tasty, that's for sure. So uh, it's starting to bubble away. So I think that looks about right actually. Let's have a, have a nosy. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good actually. That's pretty good. So, sauce is nice and thick. All of those flavors have infused. Let's have a taste. Mm. Yeah, that's working. Mm. Okay, so uh, what we might do is uh, just put this to one side. Need a bit of water in there. So we'll bring that water to the boil and then we'll sort out our pasta, I think. It's coming to the boil, so uh, just a little bit of pasta. Wasn't too sure how much to bring, to be fair. So that's uh, it's about 100 grams of pasta. So that should be... Uh, 
should be more than enough I would have thought so we'll just toss it in here and leave it do its thing water's got a bit of salt in it and a little bit of oil in it so we'll give that as I said I don't know eight minutes I don't know we'll just check we'll check it in a couple of minutes and see where we go there's a couple of um, mosquitoes in there but I don't really think they'll matter will they I mean they'll just kind of boil away so yeah we'll leave the mosquitoes in there looks good so let's just see if it uh, see if it tastes all right oh yep perfect let's whip that off put that down there snuff that out Well, it looks like we're ready to go. So uh, get our plate out. First thing on the plate, yeah, pasta. It's looking pretty good, actually. So we've got meatballs. Got to have a bit of Parmesan cheese. Here's some I grated before I came. And uh, nothing like. Nothing like a bit of Parmesan cheese. There we go. What do you think of that? It's looking pretty good, isn't it? Can't wait to tuck in. Oh, whew, it's a bit hot. But, um, are those meatballs like pretty good actually damn those are nice rather enjoying this actually so please excuse me while I carry on eating this definitely something you should try next time you're out I was a bit worried I'd overdone the garlic but I hadn't very very tasty and the meatballs have come up really well a little bit of parmesan cheese and I guess some um, Having the mustard in there and uh, a little bit of garlic in there made all the difference. Anyway, excuse me while I tuck in again. Well, I think that's about it for the evening. It's getting dark now. I'm pretty tired. I'm leaving the uh, sides of the tent open. It's a beautiful night tonight, very clear and not really a breath of wind. So I think it'll be nice to look out and see the stars and things like that. But anyway, if anything happens in the middle of the night that I think you should know, I'll let you know. But failing that, see you in the morning. Good night. It's a beautiful day out there, or it will be soon. Still quite early, I think it's about 7.30. Had a great night's sleep. This tent is uh, really, really nice. We had a couple of showers during the middle of the night. I didn't bother to film or do anything. I mean, just a bit of rain coming down. There's not much to look at when it's raining. Um, but I had a great night's sleep. Tent kept me, uh, kept me very, very dry. Um, by having the doors half open on each side, there's no condensation at all. It's so quiet and peaceful here. There's just not, no sound at all. You can hear the, a little bit of birds in the trees, but uh, they have been through and dumped a whole lot of 1080 poison 
and whether you're pros and cons of 1080, what it does is it kills the rats and the stoats and the cats and, and the pests uh, that predate on the natives. Um, unfortunately, it has a bit of a by-kill, but the theory is that the birds and the th species they're trying to protect will bounce back quicker than the predators that they're trying to kill. And you can certainly tell the difference. The, um, the 1080 was through here probably a couple of months ago, I guess, and there's no dawn chorus at all. It's very, very quiet. Uh, last time I was here, there were pheasants running around like chickens and you could hear all the native birds but uh yeah this morning very very little i don't want to start an argument about 1080 but it is interesting to come through not long after a drop and see the difference and i know i know if you come back in a year's time uh, all that bird life will bounce back and we'll have a great dawn chorus but it is pretty sad to sit here at the moment and not see or hear a lot of birds so there it is just some porridge for breakfast that'll get me going for the day have another cup of coffee and we'll be away it's always nice to add a few extra bits so putting those sultanas in there if you've got an apple or something you can chop that up and put that in there as well and on the way in there was there was a couple of apple trees and i normally pick an apple or two but uh they've chopped them down so my favorite apple trees are now gone which is uh, really annoying but i guess there's not a lot we can do about that well there we go as usual leave no trace that's me packed up and ready to go so that's where i was down there as you can see just a bit of flattened grass uh, where i had the tent so you take everything in if you're going to pack it in pack it out with you obviously so that was a nice little camp enjoyed using the Trangia 27 i've also got a Trangia mini and if you want to have a look at me using the Trangia mini check out that video up there i'll see you over there thanks for watching cheerio